Hey, hi everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will be discussing one more real time scenarios and common interview questions. So recently, one of my mentee reached out to me and said, Vishal, during one of my interview, they asked me to load and validate the data into a single step. So he asked, is that even a is it even possible in Snowflake? And obviously, answer is yes, it is possible. And it is actually one of the most common real world scenario. Think about it. What if your client share a complex CSV data and you load it into your raw layer and then you load into the silver layer from the internal or external states. Then later you realize that there are some issues like missing fields, duplicate record or invalid data. Now you have to debug it, clean it up and reload again, which is basically a complete waste of time and efforts. But what if we could catch all these issues upfront right when the data is loaded into the raw layer and clean and valid and only the clean and validated data will be inserted into your final table. So in this video, I'll show you how to automate this using a Snowflake stored procedure, which is going to load the data from the stage, perform basic checks and only and only insert into the final tables once all those checks are passed. And on top of it, we also do not want to lose the entire activity. So we will be locking everything in an audit table for tracking purpose. As you can see on my screen, I have one file into the stage. And first, I will be loading it into a temporary table to validate or uh, to perform a data validation. Now, if the data validation pass, then it should load into a table. So I'm denoting it a green because I'm taking it as a final table. If the data validation fail, then it should go to the log tables. Now, we do not just want it to log only and only the data validation, but suppose during your data ingestion, during your copy into a copy into command, if you have any error related to the file format, that also I want to log it. So pause this video for a moment and think how you can proceed with the solution. Okay, let me help you with all the step by steps. So the very first step, obviously we need to load the data from the stage. So we would be requiring, we, we would be requiring the copy into command in the stage and the file format. So the basic data loading, uh, data loading, uh, uh, elements you would be requiring like stays, file format and the copy into gamma. So I'm, I'm assuming that you have already these tables and you will be creating the log table. But then for a procedure, first thing we will be declaring all the variables. That variables because I am in my this procedure, I'm not performing all these operations like uh, uh, like they can be multiple multiple uh, data quality checks you can perform but here i'm just performing only some uh, nulls check duplicate checks however you can add some more custom validation rules and made another like uh, you can even make uh, more dynamic this stored procedure by help of the parameters so first thing we will be declaring the variables then we're going to have a temporary table to stays incoming data in this, so I'm going to create a temporary table, then I will be performing a copy into table, copy into that temporary table. Now, once my data is into the uh, temporary table, then I will be doing the checks, null and duplicates. And even we can check it for row numbers and other whatever you want. If the validation pass, then it will be inserting into the target table. If it is fail, then it should skip and prepare the error message. So this error message may be like, okay, hey, the pipeline is successful, but the error message is during the data validations. Or if any load failure error, then it should catch this. Once everything is done, it should insert into an audit table. So what would be the step by step? First, you're gonna create tables. We will be having a create stages. Then we're gonna, then we uh, will be declaring the variables. Once it is done, we're going to create a temp table. Once this temp table is done, then we will be running a copy into temp table. From stage. 
after that you will be running a variable like uh, whatever the variables we have uh, declared let's say we, i have declared variables like a null count okay so here i will be checking the null count and here you're gonna write select start from temp table or it should be like count stars obviously so we will be checking records count tables where let's say id is null or uh, any other number let's say phone number is null this is totally up to you which all fields and how you wanted to define your test uh, define your quality checks i'm just taking the basic checks for your reference now similarly you can have even a distinct count check and that you will be like and this is just in high level so you will be doing again the select count star and then you will be having like order by having count greater than one this is just a rough okay having count star one now if this is zero so you will be having a condition if null count equal to zero or and yeah and distinct count is zero then only insert the data insert into final table okay so this is how we can do that once it is uh, once if we uh, let's say an else then it should insert into audit log table so till this point you might have got a very good understanding that how we are going to proceed with this stored procedure so let's just directly jump to the window to the snowflake and let's perform all these things so i do have this customer data now look at my customer file i am purposefully having these phone number as a blank second if you will look at it i have purposefully created a customer id or customer key with duplicate 11 and this is just to show you that okay if i am going to get some data validation fails then how this is going to behave so i am going to create this customer data first i am going to take customer key and all the columns then the second step i would be having an audit tables in this audit i am taking this id with the identity and then status load timestamp rows loaded and the error message everything I will be attaching the script in the comment box so don't worry you just need to focus on it like okay and it is totally up to you what else what other column you wanted to add in your log tables now once this is done i already have one stays this is source stays here i'm using in only and only the internal stays for this purpose so I'm going to use this lowest uh, list source data stage and here I do have one customer.csv and this is having the same file over here. Okay, so I hope this is not a problem. Uh, I mean, you guys can load it. In fact, if you wanted to load it from external stage, then also you can do the same thing. Now, we will be creating one procedure and that procedure is going to load the data so but before that we have to declare some variables so i'm gonna name it as a load and validate okay we're going to create into the sql language so this is done and then this is just particularly very uh, like syntax you can get it from google you can get it uh, from anywhere now very first step is declare all the variables i'm gonna have a temporary table name however you can even make it like uh, you you can remove this variable and you can just hard code it and everywhere i have utilized it now just in case you wanted to validate or to perform this script for other tables and other stages then you can pass some table name and stage name here so that is totally up to you how you want to do create your procedure and up to what extent you want to parameterize your procedure so i have given a temporary table like total rows loaded duplicate records null records status error message and result messages so this is something which we are going to take it over here 
Once this is done, I am going to temporary table. In that, I'm, pa I'm passing a temp cust data. This is this will be my table name. The status by default I'm passing failed, and the error message will be null. Now we have to create because if you will look at this first it needs to load the data into the temporary table all right so here if you will look at it this is going to create a replace temporary table with the same same structure and obviously uh, i mean you can even utilize infer a schema if you want to make it more automation but here just to give you a reference because you have all we have already covered info schema in our previous videos so here i'm given a structure over here and this is going to have the same columns now once this is done once this is done i will be loading the data into a temporary table now i am purposefully removing this file format just to show you one error Okay, so we will be capturing two error in this line number 74. I'm purposefully hiding or like uh, not defining this file format. So it is going to take a default file format into this stage. So here I'm writing copy into identifier and this temporary table we have already declared over there. This as damn cast data. However, you can just remove it and you can write copy and create or replace temporary table tamcast data. Now, once this is done, we have total rows loaded. So we're going to find select count star. What if there is not even a single record? So you only need to check if there are records, then only we wanted to like that. That, no, that is validation check one. Second is the null record. So we have done the same thing. I have performed it either on the C nation, key, sorry, in the name nation key is null or phone is null. However, it is totally up to you. You can even change it for, uh, let's say, ID is null, phone number, or anything what is not null, non nullable. Then we have a duplicate records. So I am going to check it only on the customer key. But if you wanted to get it for a couple of more columns, then you can write your queries in, in the same way. So here, this is going to give me a RN greater than one. It is going to find out all the counts and then will be inserted into the duplicate records. Okay, now once this is done and I have now duplicate record, null records and total record. If null record zero and duplicate record equal to zero, but total rows loaded greater than zero, then only the data needs to be inserted into the final correct table, final target table. So we are inserting this data from this temporary table, but only when the data, only when the checks are passed. Okay, now this then once this is done, the status should be marked as success and the result message should be successfully loaded, total record loaded, rows with no validation error. So it feels like if 1000 record loaded with no validation error. And so we are fine with this total rows loaded. This is a variable and how uh, we are calculating it. This is so you can just simply check it. Pause it if you are not getting it and you can even reach out to me if you, you know you find it very confusing. Now, but what if we have, what if this if condition is not true and then in the false condition we want that the failed validation error and the error message should be validation failed. This, these many number of uh, null record, these many duplicate record and the result message should be the error message. Okay. Let's just check it out. Now, after that, if there is any exception occurred in between of this means there is no validation error, but there is error during the copy into command during the file format issues or during some other issues, copy into issues, then that should also capture the error and once this is done we are going to insert the entire data into the audit log tables 
and in the last we are returning the message procedure executed completed with status so this status will either be success or failure and the message will be the result message and this can be captured either from this result message i mean from either if block or the begin block or the exception block so let me just run this procedure call or replace load and validate so my procedure got created now let me check what data I do have in my audit log table. Do I have any data in my audit log? No. So let me run this procedure now. This will be definitely get failed. Now look at the error message. This procedure execution completed with status this is that message and here the status is nothing but the uh, like the this the status is failed and this entire message is execution mess uh, error message found while expecting record delimiter so we can simply assume that this error is related to the file format i mean so far you must have a good understanding that this error is coming because we were trying to copy the data into the temporary table and that where we are not passing any file format and the default file format is not suitable to load this particular file so what i'm going to do here now i am removing this file format and then running it running it again one more time and let me run this call load and validate so this is the second time i am running this procedure but this time I am getting a different error. It is not an execution or probably we can say the compilation or copy into error. This is a data validation error. And validation failed two rows with the nulls and one duplicate record found. And if we look into the audit log tables, this is going to have two entries. One is the execution error status. Second is the validation error status. There were total 1,26,000 record, but out of that there were one duplicate and two null. This is why we have not allowed to insert. Now, if you will look at it, there is not even a single record in the customer data because it could not pass the validation checks. Okay, now what if I'm going to fix this? And then let me run it again. So I'm going to have these many things and it is going to have, let's say it is 10. Okay, now I'm going to save it. And here, what would I do? I'll click and go into my UI, load files into a stage. YouTube learning. And I'll come over here into the source data. I'll browse the file. This is customer and open it, upload it. It can take a few seconds to upload this file. But once this will be overwrite, we will be seeing that we will be running the procedure again. And that should give us a successful error message, successful message, not error message. So now the file is uploaded. Let me go back to my worksheet, data loading and monitoring. Right now, we do have only one, rec two records here. There is no customer data. This time, we should get a successful. I mean, I haven't checked the entire uh, file, but ideally I'm expecting. Uh, so there is no uh, data validation error. You can see message successfully loaded 12614 with no validation error. And if I'm going to check it, select star from customer data, then this time, yes, I do have 126k record. And in the audit log, I will be having only two failure, sorry, uh, two uh, fail and one success error. So that's how you can keep a track and you can make automated during the data loading activity you can perform or you can perform your quality checks also if you really like the if you have enjoyed this video and if you uh, enjoy this exercise then please give a thumbs up and share with your friends thank you so much have a good day